Midazolam is a very common drug used in anaesthetics. It's an imidazole benzodiazepine. It's formed in a clear colourless solution of either 1, 2 or 5 milligrams per milliliter. It can be given orally, nasally, uh, rectally, intramuscularly, intravenously, intrathecally or epidurally. Its doses range from oral at 0.5 milligrams per kilogram to a maximum of 20 milligrams. Intravenously, 0.02 to 0.1 milligrams per kilogram, used for sedation and titrated to effect. It can be given spinally at 0.3 to 2 milligrams or epidurally at 0.1 to 0.2 milligram per kilogram. Its mechanism of action is that it's an agonist at the benzodiazepine receptor, which is coupled to a GABA receptor. Stimulation of this and causes increased frequency of opening of the GABA's chloride ion channel, and this causes hyperpolarization of the membrane by increasing the flux of chloride ions into the cell, so it's an influx of chloride into the cell. As most of us know, midazolam is used extensively for sedation, anxiolysis, and induction with opioids. With respect to its absorption and distribution, it's orally bioavailable at 40% with high protein binding at 95%. It has a very high hepatic extraction ratio, so if hepatic blood flow is poor or the liver functions bad, the half-life will increase. Its half-life itself is one to four hours, and it's shorter than other benzodiazepines because of its redistribution in the body. So on to metabolism and excretion. It's hepatically metabolized via hydroxylation to one alpha hydroxymidazolam, which is its active form. This is conjugated and excreted in the urine, Less than 5% of it's converted to oxazepam. If you're also giving alfentanyl, it's worth bearing in mind that alfentanyl is metabolized by the same enzymes as midazolam, which is part of the P450 pathway, and therefore they may potentiate each other's effects. So in terms of the effects of midazolam, we should divide this into body systems. The cardiovascular system it will reduce systemic vascular resistance by a third, increase heart rate, and obtum the response to laryngoscopy when combined with an opioid. Moving on to the respiratory system, it will increase respiratory rate, decrease tidal volume, will not change minute volume, and will cause apnea in some patients. It also blunts the response to the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood. Neurological effects seen include hypnosis, sedation, anxiolysis, anterograde amnesia, and a decreased cerebral metabolic oxygen requirement. It will also decrease cerebral blood flow and decrease your MAC or your minimum alveolar concentration by 15%. Midazolam will also reduce hepatic blood flow and reduce renal blood flow. Benzodiazepines can be reversed by flumazenil. It's worth remembering, however, that flumazenil can cause seizures and other unwanted side effects. 